I think one of the most important things at the beginning of your career is to focus, to the extent that you can, focus on the type of things that you want to be doing. There's a point where you may be just not working. Graduates will phone me up and say things like, oh, I got offered this script, but I don't like the script. And then my answer is, well, have you got another script? No. Have you got another job? No. I said, well, so what's, what's to lose about going and shooting a script you don't like? Because maybe it'll get better, or maybe it'll be Daniel Day-Lewis in the lead role. You know, how do you know it's not a good film? But if you don't turn up, there's no practicing, right? You can't do cinematography at home. So the stage one, which is I'm unemployed, <laughs> take what they give you, you know, go do it, because you might meet that fantastic director that then offers you a movie. So that's stage one. Stage two is when, when there's work dribbling in, and then you have to get canny about, I'll do this and I'll do this, but I won't do that. So guide your towards what you're interested in. Now, if you get to the point, the sort of privilege point where there's lots coming in, then the business of the director becomes very important because if you look at the CV on IMDb of most of the cinematographers that you admire, and then look at how many times did they go back and work with the same director? 90% of the time you'll find that they spend a lot of time with the same director. Because that's what happens in, in the careers of most successful, if you like, cinematographers, both artistically and financially, often, very, very often, they repeat working with a director who's going somewhere. Now, you might repeat work with a director, this happened to me a couple of times, where the first job, amazing. You think, whoa, this is great. And then job two, three, and four, you just slide down the hill, and then the director doesn't work anymore. That's not in your control, is it? You can't control that. All you can do is go, I want to work with this person. I like working with them. So do the next job. Even if you read the script and think, well, I don't like this very much, then it's it's difficult to turn down a regular director for a script you don't like too much. Generally speaking, if you turn down a director you work with regularly, you won't ever work with them again. Now, it's not 100% true, but it happens a lot because the director will get offended, which is irrational. So make it your business to make yourself available. And then just lastly, with, with agents, don't expect an agent to find you work. They will find your work off and on, but generally speaking, the most important thing about an agent is that they've got to be your mate, your friend, and your, they've got to understand what you want to do with your career, and they've got to do your deals for you. But don't think, oh, once I get an agent, I'll somehow be working. It's not like that. The agent gets to enable you to control a bit better who you work with, and to like put your name out there. But they can't actually get you a job because the director and producer get you the job. They hire you, not the agent. The agent just puts your name there. Um, and having said that, they are incre it's incredibly good to have an agent once you're really working because it takes a lot of the, the hustle of, you know, I want this much and this hotel room and da da da. The fact you don't have to deal with that is good. Um, but I think in, in these days, for me, in a sense, for me, in my generation and my time, to talk about how you start a career is almost worthless advice because I have no idea. Like somebody said to me recently, oh, well, directors now, they hire you if you've got a good Instagram account. And, and you know, <laughs> for me, I was like, what? And for me to, like, compute and understand that somebody could hire a cinematographer because they have a good Instagram account. It makes no sense, but that is the modern world. And so I say to the students, you better have a good Instagram account when you leave the school, <laughs> because, because that's, that might get you a job. And it's true, it does. <laughs>